Winning a title is important, but when they step up to the plate, being on this diamond together is what means the most. Hard work and dedication produces results in athletics. And although they didn't start out on top, the Lamar women's soccer team achieved their goal of Southland Tournament Champions. I traveled to Buffalo Wild Wings to see the Lady Cards journey to NCAA tournament play. You can always expect a great experience whether you're at Provost Humphrey Stadium or Cowboy Stadium for the Battle of the Border. There is no better motivation than having a child tell a player that you are their inspiration. On game days, all these diverse cultures and styles come together on one pitch. For the Lamar University cheerleaders, there is a lot that goes into preparing for game days. If you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. LUTV sports reporter Derek Thomas gives us a behind the scene view on how the Lamar Cardinal football team stays fly during game days. We are at the Lamar women's soccer watch party. They will play UCLA in the NCAA tournament, but let's take a look at what got them to this moment. With her teammates by her side, Myers knows when she steps off the field for the last time, it will have all been worth it. When baseball means a lot more than stats and at bats. Lamar volleyball coach Michelle Kuster resigned from her position last week. This comes after the Lady Cards finished 9 and 17 overall and 4 and 12 in conference. Kuster was hired on as an interim head coach after she assisted under the Lady Cards previous coach. Kuster only coached one year without the interim tag. She took to Facebook to talk about her love for the team and what is to come. Lamar is currently in a nationwide search for her replacement. With the 2020 season right around the corner, the Big Red baseball team is busy getting their bats in order. Recently, the team hosted their annual inner squad scrimmage they call the Fall World Series. LUTV sports anchor Sarah Scott went to Vincent Beck Stadium to see what you can expect from the Cardinals next year. With very few graduating last year, the older cards are taking on the leadership position. They've been great. You know, having that leadership on the team is very crucial, and uh, we certainly had it. We don't just have older guys. We have guys that really uh, are leaders and really care about this. And, um, you know, we didn't really have a lot of guys leave the program. We didn't have any really key guys leave the program. Uh, we're all in this together. We've, we've, we've helped build this to the point that we're at right now, and we're all ready to reap the fruits of our, of our labor. Since 1951, Lamar and McNeese have battled on the gridiron every year until Lamar dropped football in 1989. When Saturday Night Lights came back to Beaumont, so did the Battle of the Border. Sports photographer Derek Thomas and I traveled down Interstate 10 to Lake Charles to tell the story of two universities separated by 60 miles. McNeese and Lamar have rivaled against each other for many years. However, is the rivalry as meaningful as it used to be? I think it's still very prominent, well, for at least me. I see the rivalry from the uh, perspective of a rowdy college student wanting their team to win, and cheering them on, it really helps me to engross the idea of the rivalry. And for some fans, this is their first experience with the Battle of the Border. Oh, well, hopefully we win, <laughs> but, um, I hear it's a big thing, especially since we're sending our band. So hopefully it's to be there and, well, mess up <laughs> Lamar as much as we can. With Lamar struggling their last few games, they are looking to cap off with a rivalry win. They're literally right across the border. They're only less than 60 miles away. And the fact that uh, we get to face him every year as part of the, as a 10 year tradition now, uh, we finally get to hopefully end the season on a high note and as we have the past two years. However, McNeese has a lot on the line this year. I, I believe the football team is on the break of possibly being able to go to uh, the playoffs, so I think that's going to be a big motivator for them. You can always expect a great experience, whether you're at Provost Humphrey Stadium or Cowboy Stadium for the Battle of the Border. I feel like the atmospheres are uh, both relatively similar. Uh, I feel like both schools are always trying to rope in more people, uh, and so it's always kind of interesting to see how each school is, uh, is using methods to grow, uh, and so it's, uh, it's really fun. Uh, each school has individuality, and that's what makes each of them special. With it being in Beaumont this season, Lamar is ready to push through for one last game. The record isn't as perfect as everyone wants, but uh, that doesn't mean that the quality of football isn't gonna be as great in the end. So uh, I encourage everyone to come out be loud and let's just have fun for one last game and let's go LU.